Hey folks, how you doing? It is Clay the author here today in a different vehicle because I took the kiddos to school and work today. Um, working remote for the girlfriend is actually going to work out pretty good, I think. Go technology. Um, yeah, so today's book review is going to be Richard Morgan's final Takeshi Kovic book, Woken Furies. And um, I loved it. I got to admit, the first bit of the book I wasn't so sure about, but it... It was nice. So, back up. Book one is the best in the series. Flat out, it's awesome, it's gruesome, it's a great introduction. Uh, it's on Earth and the way it takes place on Earth and, and all the, the social commentary he has about Earthlings and, and what we be become in the future and who we are now. Excellent. Book two. It's kind of like the James Bond book where I think he knew what he wanted out of a series and went for it and it is the the next um it feels like a james bond book it feels like it is non-sequential it feels like you know like a jack reacher book or one of these you know where you're following a guy yes he's got a story yes he has a history it's important but not necessarily to this book and what's happening right now um enter book three woken furies and now all of a sudden it's all tying together, and I have to admit, the first, this much of the book, several chapters, I wasn't so sure about it. He's hanging out on the beach, and there's no plot, and he's got some new little cutie he's hanging, you know, and it was just him back at his home on Harlan's world, talking to a bunch of people who were quellists or hated quellists, and you'll understand who that is if you who those are. That's the religious group that he doesn't but does prescribe to. He yeah. Anyway, that's kind of the point of the, this book actually. So halfway through the book, I got it. It's a goodbye book. So you've seen it in anime, right? It's that final episode where every every character kind of gets a story arc. Everybody, you know, resolves and this, that, and the other. And there's a lot of character resolution. And so it was that. And I thought for the first half of the book, I was like, come on. This is the last book in the series and this is what you're going to give me. But it was really good. I don't even want to mention much of the the plot points in it because if you do care about this stuff if you do care about spoilers you're gonna want to just pick it up on your own because the the book starts in the first third of it you're not actually even sure what's going on it really is just you watching Takeshi do stuff and you don't know why as the reader you of course find out Richard Morgan does an amazing job at that last 75 percent mark where he just starts dumping the tidbits, right? Really letting you know, oh, oh, but this meant something. Oh, and that mattered. And right. And, and they do, they matter. It, it, it's important. And they're all great plot and character points and they add depth. Um, the, there is a character in it who has an alternate consciousness stuck into her brain as a virus slash, well, they're not really sure what it is. Actually, that's again, one of the points of the story. And it's awesome how she doesn't want to go to sleep and has these amazing, you know, fears of never waking up again because she's not the one in control. It's this, you know, multiple personality, multiple personality disorder sort of uh, theme that it's awesome. And it, it um, there's lots of stuff like that, um, that themes into, again, that whole neuromancer, uh, uh, Blade Runner, what does it mean to be a human and what does it mean to have experiences and memories and, and what makes us us? And he, oh, it's great. And so it's slower than I would want in the action. There are, um, you know, he, he doubles down on the sex scenes, right? Because we got to say goodbye to Takeshi and knows that, you know, he goes out dick first into the world, right? Because we need to know that because we're guys. Um, he does, don't worry. Um... It's a goodbye book, and I don't normally like those. I usually skip that last anime where I'm like, I don't care that they finally got the house. I don't care that he finally got that robe mended after all these episodes. All that stuff. I don't care. I cared about this one. I do. I've got another video that I recorded that I haven't put up called I'm Kin with Takeshi Kovic, 
and I'm embarrassed about it, and I haven't put it up yet, but I have to, because obviously after reading this one, he dives into how damaged Takeshi is, and how damaged all us dudes are with that father-son relationship, and those, I mean, oh, I wish I could remember the quote, but, you know, there's even a quote where, he's just so edgy, right, and if you were a Gen Xer or you knew Gen Xers and you aspired to be anything like any of those, you know, black, you know, eye makeup wearing dudes, you know how angsty they were because these reasons, I mean, these are legit reasons to be this angsty, but you know, you grow up, you mature, you grow out of these things, but it was very interesting to see his character fully engaged in his issues, and in my issues, right, and, uh, yeah, 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 so, uh, I don't have anything to say about these books for the details, because I don't want to ruin it for any of you folks out there who care about these character development, I am super impressed with the depth of the Takeshi character, um, and, and even of the side characters and the arguments they have about life, you know, and they're just a bunch of just burnout, stoner, drug, you know, meth heads, and yet they've got awesome questions about what it means to be a human being. And uh, because they're Richard Morgan's questions, right? And he, that's what he wanted to do. He wanted to answer these things. He wanted to play around in this world. Um, and he does a great job of it. I actually can't recommend these books good enough. I may, I'll definitely go back and read Altered Carbon, the first one again, because it's, it's that good. Um, the other two, uh, this one's Woken Furies, and then the other one is, uh, can't remember, but they're great. Um, check out the whole series. I'll link to them down below. You can go get them on Amazon. Go, um, get the audiobooks, whatever. Like, I mean, yeah, it's, it's great. Um, yeah. Anyway, if you folks like this review, I don't even know if I can call it a review. It's more of just a gush about how awesome Takeshi is and how you should go check it out if you thought James Bond was good, if you thought Jack Reacher was good. <laughs> to catch you, Kovic. Yeah. Um, no. Uh, anyway, like, subscribe, do all that stuff, hit the notifications just in case you feel like being notified when stupid videos like this come out. Um, otherwise, go enjoy the weather. I would say sun, but it's just kind of muggy and weird out here today. But uh, I grew up here. I'm liking it. No coat. Good times. All right, kids. You guys have a great day.